All right, how's it going, everybody? Today, I'm going to be looking at Rabbit TV, or this guy. Um, you might have seen it in your local store, just as I have, and wondered if it's even worth it. I don't know, but I figured for ten bucks I'd try it out. Um, heard mixed things about it, but we'll see what go, what, how it actually is. Um, on the back it says five thousand free internet TV channels, twenty-five thousand movies, fifty thousand radio stations. No one gives a shit about radio stations, but we're gonna find out anyway. Um, once you open up this incredibly annoying package, you will get this, don't return this to your store, and this, the setup instructions for Windows and for Mac. So here's a little bit of a difference. <laughs> anyway, so apparently all you need to do is plug it in, follow the setup. I have kind of a unique setup here, got the TV, I actually have my laptop down here, I use it as a media center for various things because I actually don't have cable. Alright, so one of the USB ports on this computer is a little funky, so just moved it to the back. So, let's see what happens. Go ahead and open it. I have a feeling that this menu, read me, nice. 367 kilobytes, like, was this like an 8 meg flash drive? Huh. Anyway, I'm going to double click on menu, which will probably, eh, it says it's an application, so let's find out. Wow, that looks so sketch. Like, I don't trust this. I work in a computer shop and everything about this screams virus. But it's out there, so. Can't truly be a virus. But with 367K, you have to imagine that most everything's gonna be pulled from the internet here. It's nice and uh, fast. Eh, open my browser. What do you know? Why not just register.rabbittvgo.com slash install? Why not just give me a piece of paper, you know? 487k install.exe. Why not put that on the flash drive? I don't know. Just a lot, that's all. This is all going to run in a browser. Internet Explorer. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Nice. Sweet. So... I'll bet I don't have the latest Internet Explorer on here. I might need that. Awesome. So it's not as easy as you'd think. So let me go ahead and get the latest Internet Explorer shouldn't have to do that, but whatever. And then we'll go from there. Which is funny, because on the back, here are the system requirements. Which is right there. All you need is a computer. High-speed internet. XP Vista 7 or 8, or Mac OS X, 10.6 and higher. So, there you go. Maybe there's more to it. Also, while I'm installing Internet Explorer 10 here, which I assume is my problem, I would imagine it isn't, but I hope it is, because otherwise I'm going to get frustrated and pissed off, and I don't want to go through their crappy support. I got an ad for an infinite love ring that came with it. Appraised to $85 a year for only 10 bucks. Oh, and on the other side, more advertising. As you can tell, this is an incredibly high-end premium product that they put a lot of money into. Just want to throw that one out there right away. Okay, so updating Internet Explorer fixed it. It actually downloads from the internet under 2 megabytes. It's an actual application. Please make sure it's connected to your computer. Ugh, for this. Hold. A testament to the quality of the build I just pulled off and maybe ruined the uh, 
caustic thing. And it was identifying just uh you know when I first plugged it in, so we'll see what's going on now. Just plugged it in again, re-identified, retry. So it actually looks for that key. And then I gotta register here real quick. I'm glad how it uses your default browser. Why is that playing? Remember when flipping channels Jesus, they hide the bar so you can't pause it. What a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, so this is kind of what I thought. Thank you for purchasing Rabbit TV. This includes one year of free service. So it's an annual fee. I don't want to. Oh, I just did this. Loves to play videos. Oh, whoa, that's today. I show truckers. So anyway, I want to see how this works. Like, what if you just plugged it in and double-clicked on that? It opens the browser where you have to log in every single time. Shazam. Okay, but once you're logged in, it keeps you in. Don't care. First time, click here to check out the first time user's guide. So we have latest TV episodes. They have wife swap, babe. Oh boy. Ah, cable episode, classic shows, newly added movies. Newly added, but not new. Ah, pay-per-view. Ooh, TV networks. Ooh, sci-fi and travel channel. So sci-fi. Deep South Paranormal. So they show you popular shows. That's that was good. Watch now paid. Watch now free. What's? I mean, watch now free. Oh, it's oh, it actually links you to the Sci-Fi Channel's website. So it shows you the free stuff here. So all the stuff you can get without Rabbit TV is not going to work Yeah. Oh my god, I swear to god I'm going to shoot that. So upcoming live events, free and pay-per-view. Um, live web TV channels, this is what I was curious about. Cutlery Corner, Daystar Experience, the Outdoor Cooking Channel. C-SPAN, QVC, Weather Nation, no one cares about radio. The Gem Shopping Network, thank God that's live now. And it just takes you to their website? Yep. Where's my audio? Why is it muted? Look at the Sabre Garnet on this one. <laughs> I used to watch this at like two in the morning. Would you try that on? Oh my god. Oh, I swear to god. Ice Road Truckers, watch now free. So they have like some stuff here. Yeah, check that out. It's history.com. It literally opens history.com in another window. I mean, it's kind of cool because you can learn where to go, and it links the video, so you don't have to actually browse for the video. Um, but that's it. Oh, and it doesn't play either. So if you go to home, it's the History Channel's actual homepage. Yep. Okay. Don't play. Jesus. So is there any actual, like, good stuff? What about, like, History Channel? Travel Channel? Oh, but that's just, I'll bet that's their website, too. This is literally, like, you pay $10 to have it like, port you to their website. Ghost Adventures. Wow. 
Launch now free. And it takes you to the Travel Channel website. Wyoming Frontier Prison. That was filmed a long time ago. Yeah, that's really old. That's kind of cool, though. It gives you the links anyway, pretty much. But, oh, I would pay to never hear that again, ever. I wonder how many views this has on YouTube. 11 views. Mm -hmm. nah, funny. Cool, so. It's kind of like Netflix, but you pay for a year. And most of this stuff is available online. Bob's Burgers. Is that going to port us to a website? Did it? That looks kind of... Oh yeah, Fox. Derp. Yep, okay. Cool. So, don't buy Rabbit TV, just use the internet and common sense. But it's also convenient too if you want to blow 10 bucks. Yeah, it does organize it. That's pretty cool. And you get to listen to this every single time. And I'm sure there's got to be a movie on here. Like, a movie. If I wanted to watch Final Cut, that can't take me to a website. It's got to actually play it. All right. It's actually playing it. With ads. Oh, it's Crackle. Yeah. Yeah, Crackle is free on the Roku. Given this was only 10 bucks, though. But I'll bet you could watch this on any browser as well. How's the... Oh, this is a good movie. Remember this? Where he has cameras in his eyes. And he, you've never seen Final Cut with Robin Williams? So. Oh my god. No, I don't think so. Well, that's that anyway. Well, now we can watch it on Crackle as opposed to the Roku. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. Oh, look, you can pay $15 to watch The Great Gatsby. Fourteen ninety nine. Oh my God, that is insane. Thirteen for pain and gain. Are you like downloading it or are you just paying to stream it? Um, streaming. Forty two, I heard, was a good movie. Hmm, that's a lot of money. Spring Breakers is only four dollars. Movie's only worth like fifty cents. So they have a selection. Warm Bodies is four dollars. That should be streamed. Just saying. Wow. Well, anyway, I think that's a pretty good review. Um. Except these live web, t I really want something that's ABC News. If that takes me to their website, I'm going to be... Flo it took me to their website. Ah! That's stupid. I don't think it's like my grandma getting any of this. Yeah, older people who don't really... It's kind of cool because it shows you pretty much... I mean, you can make like a whole bookmark list of all of these. <laughs> Oh my god. And then, you know, keep them. And it's kind of nice how it organizes it. But, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Can you think of anything else to add? Nope. Is it worth $10? Probably not. People could compile hyperlinks to all these things, and I'm sure they're out there, too. Yeah. And more free. Cupcake Wars. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Peace out.